How you all doing? Yeah, he gave me a little bit more. <coughs> he wants me to explain to the world and clear up something else about a, a really good superstar that we had. And because he loved the damn world so much, he looked at it through children's eyes. And he was a star. I mean, the guy made a playground in his own freaking backyard for kids. And we tried to turn him into a damn sex offender. Media hunted him everywhere he went. He tried his best to shake it off. But the pain of how the world always looked at him. All the reporters that hunted him. Making him a sex offender. Calling him a pervert. Believe me, I know firsthand how much painful that is. But I'm a lot stronger than he was. And uh, he was a true star. Just the world hunted him to death. And then there were those stars like Karen Carpenter who really truly needed help. But all she ever saw was the media reports. And she tried to hide her life. And uh, I took her in the end because she never got real help. But she sure did get a lot of friggin' harassment. See, media, yeah, that's why you need to realize what you do to people's lives. You do not know the story. You just know what you once said. You just want to be in front of that camera. You just want to be the most important media person in the world. So, hope we got uh, through to you. And I hope the world realizes what it means to make a report on someone else in the future because uh, what you're telling has to be the truth and uh, it has to be something that really needs to be told because sometimes some stories don't need to be out in the news And I know that's the way the market's been about getting stuff people want to see, the, the juicy stuff. The juicy stuff isn't what's supposed to be in the news. That's personal. And that's what we need to find is that line between real news and personal news. We won't be broadcasting personal news anymore. That's just the way it's going to be. All the way to the courtrooms, if somebody's getting his third mark and he's being a, he's sent home to, that won't be in the paper. Along with a bunch of other stuff that won't be in the paper anymore. Because we're uh, we're turning this truck around, and we're getting down the road of being right. And I don't mean to bring back this bad, but uh, that has been my job. Because we can't really straighten out the future if we don't understand what we really screwed up in the past with. And uh, that's what this is about. Is that everyone truly understands where we're screwing up when it comes to media. Personal stuff, that ain't to be shared. Personal tragedy? For damn sure not. It 
it's uh, it's personal. And you have tornadoes blow through a neighborhood. Now that's news, and people need to know that. And maybe covering some saving that's been going on. That's news. And that's something that people want to see and should want to see. But it has to be handled in that way. Keep the personal out of it. And uh, remember Michael Jackson. He's up there with God, so don't you worry, guys. He was a star. You guys just didn't know it. And uh, he's a star up there, too. So, anyway, I gotta get back to my music. I get my mojo back. <laughs> uh, Love you all. Some of you damn media people. <laughs>